Hello everybody, today we'll evaluate multiplication and division expressions. Okay, let's look at this first problem. So in row, the top row we have n, and n is a variable, so 3, 8, and 10 are the numbers that represent n. And in the first column here we have 3, and we have 18. In the third column we have 10, and we have 60. So we have to think about what do we multiply or divide to get 18 with 3? And we know we have to multiply, so it's 3 times, wait for it, you got it in your head? Okay, perfect. So the answer is n times 6, because we multiply n, which in this case is 3, by 6 to get 18. And if we look at 10, 10 times 6 is 60. So to find the answer here, we, we multiply 8 by 6. So what's the answer for that? If you're thinking 48, you got it correct. Let's try a couple more. Okay, so let's take a look at this table. So our top row is E. And this is E. Multiply or divide. Okay, so 4, we have 4 and we have 1 here. We have 8 and 2, 12 and 3. So what are we doing here? If you're saying divided by 4, you're absolutely right. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So we know right now our rule is e divided by 4, or we could write it this way. This is how you're going to put it in for the go formative. And now to find the answer here for our missing number, we've got 16 divided by 4, and the answer is 4. Let's try one more. Okay, let's look at this last example. So in the top row, we have s, and we have numbers that represent s here. And now to find the bottom row, we have to find the rule. So it's s times or s divided by. So if we take a look at 20, for our first example, we take a look at 20. We have 20 and 4. So 20 times, now that's somewhere, 20 divided by. So 20 divided by, 35 divided by, 45 divided by, gets 9. So 20 divided by what equals 4? Are you thinking 5? If you are, you're absolutely correct. And we check it, and that works for 35. So 35 divided by 5 is 7. 45 divided by 5 is 9. So that's a rule. And then go formative, you're going to write it with a forward slash like this. Now if we take a look at this problem here, it's going to be 40 divided by 5. 40 divided by 5 is 8. So your answer there would be 8. Okay, so now you have some to try and go formative. Do your best. Have fun. If you have questions, let me know. Good luck.